What's up guys? Today we are going to show you how to flat tow your Jeep Wrangler JLU or JL or really pretty much any flat tow vehicle. Basically everything that you need from this setup is directly from Blue Ox and you can get them all in the description in the link below. All right, so first we're going to move our tow vehicle over to our motorhome. So one of the nice things about Blue Ox is you can get pretty well close and then these will adjust to your vehicle. And it looks like I may have to back up just a hair. Okay, also, we had a really bad experience with um, our last Blue Ox tow bar, not because of Blue Ox, but because we had some punk kid, or punk adult, I don't really know, pull this pin from right here, they removed it, and our whole tow vehicle came unhooked from our motorhome, which is why we have this damage here, because I saw it in my backup camera, and I hit the brakes just enough for it to crash into our motorhome. I just happened to see it, and instead of slamming on the brakes, I just hit it enough, but yeah. it could have been a lot worse than this, so we all we can. What we have done to counter that is Blue Ox has sent us these awesome stainless steel locks that go in each blue ox fitting so they can't literally can't unhook any of them. Put that through there. And something I will say guys, make sure you check with your specific make sure you check with blue ox for your specific mounting um, system that's going to be for your vehicle because they are vehicle specific. Put our lock back on, and that one's good to go. Arrow is pointed up, flat toe locks are secured. Simply do the same thing on this one. Make sure your arrow's pointed up. She's locked in, and if you notice, We've also got a Blue Ox lock on the front. Now, is your safety cables. And these cables are just in case your tow vehicle, tow bar was for some reason to break or malfunction, or for instance, exactly what happened to us, where somebody pulled that pin. These cables are the only that was hooked up. So, on this Blue Ox tow bar adapter, this is called a Blue Ox, tow bar adapter plate for the Jeep JL. It's got a place where you can hook these directly on it. And I always hook one one way and one the other way. Okay, this little guy here is for your emergency brake system. And on the Patriot brake system, there's a little plug that plugs into the top of your brake system. And when this cable jerks loose like that, it locks your brakes up on your Jeep. That is, in case everything comes unhooked, your safety cables break, that chain pulls loose, that cable pulls loose, locks your brakes up on your Patriot brake system. This is your uh, trailer braking cable, so this is to work your, your tail lights and your brake lights and everything on your tow rig as you're pulling. We've got a seven pin connector on the camper side. And we've got a six pin connector on the bumper side. So, the very first thing you'll do, you're all hooked up in flat toe, you're ready to go. You're gonna put your foot on the brake, press the start button, or turn the key, I don't know what, which one you have. And I will say, guys, we made a video for this on a JK also. Uh, click right here and you can see this exact flat toe setup. Not exact, pretty similar flat toe setup on a Jeep JK, which is a 2012 to 2018. So. Once you do that, you're gonna pull your transmission down into neutral. Once you pull your transmission into neutral, you're gonna pull your transfer case into neutral. Once you do that, you'll see the neutral on your dash right here for your transfer case. And then you'll also see your neutral on your dash right here for your transmission. Now, what you wanna do then is shut your engine off. Then you hear the, the transmission click. You will push your shifter up into park. Then you start it back up. 
Now, the new Jeeps have a safety measure where when the doors open, they won't take the transmission out of park. So make sure your doors close when you're trying this. So now we know our transfer case is in neutral. We know our transmission is in park. So we're gonna pull our transmission down into reverse. As you can see, it's not doing anything. Matter of fact, I rolled forward just a little bit. Then I'm gonna go ahead and pull it down into drive. Okay, now I'm gonna give it a little gas and drive. Nothing. So what does that mean? That means that we know our transmission is disengaged completely by the transfer case. Now we're gonna slide it back up into park and then we're gonna kill it. Okay, you heard the transmission click back into park, but the Jeep should roll as if it's in neutral. Make sure that your ignition is off. You don't need AC on, you don't need anything like that. However, I will point out you have a uh, AC in the back that's hot all the time. That's what you're gonna wanna plug your Patriot brake system into. We use a coil cord extension. So this just plugs into the back to the cigarette lighter. And then this is just gonna extend up here to the front where we can plug in our Patriot braking system. You can see here, one of the arms is tight, one of them is still loose. That does not matter. Once you pull away from this, both of these logs, these arms will snap into place, lock down, and they'll both be fully extended like that, like a trailer tongue. Okay, so we keep our, we keep our Patriot brake system right back here. And if you've seen our last video, you'll notice we've also got a brake buddy in there. In case you guys are wanting to figure out whether you should go with a Patriot brake or a brake buddy, stay tuned, subscribe to our channel, because we will be doing a shootout between the brake buddy system and the Patriot brake system. So, the brake buddy and the Patriot brake uh, system are, are similar in the sense that you've got this deal here and this is gonna lock around your brake pedal. Like so. Then, I take my outlet and plug it in here. And I just set it right down there. Now I'm gonna make sure it's plugged in in the back. Now, like I talked about before, we have that breakaway switch up there. The cable for that is right here. Keep the tuck up in there. Just plug it in this breakaway spot. We've got a red light on our Patriot brake system, so it means we got power to it. Now, your next thing, you're gonna push that Patriot brake system about as far up as it'll go without holding the brake lights on. And these little feet on the bottom are so you can adjust the height. And then this thing here is adjustable as well. So now you'll push your seat up onto it, like so. And then simply turn the power on. And if it's in a bind at all, it will not work. So, yep, there it goes. Now you hit setup. Still not in a good enough position. Just kind of. still too tight so I need to back my seat up just a hair okay looks like it likes that spot hit set up okay so it seems happy there you got a green light means ready to clarify you must be in park your transfer case must be in neutral and your accessories must be turned off that means your ignition is off. You can lock your Jeep like normal. The battery can be on, and we're gonna hop in on the inside. Okay, so now that we're on the inside, let's go ahead and start it up. This is the Patriot brake system right here. And what you've got is you've got force, which is how much force it's gonna push onto your brake system whenever you apply the brakes. And then under your menu option, you've got sensitivity which allows you to change the sensitivity of how much you break in here when it notices and it breaks back there. So there's two different things. Force is how much force it applies to the brake in the Jeep. And sensitivity is how hard must you hit the brakes in here before it applies the force back there. You've also got a manual brake option. And you can push this and it will break your system back there whenever you're pushing that. And I've already used that several times. You've also got a light button so you can leave the lights on, on the system. You can see our tow vehicle is back there. Okay, so now I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna apply the manual brakes and you guys can see 
how this Patriot brake system works the brake. It's almost like having trailer brakes. The adjustments are very good, the tuning is very good, the braking is very good. One more quick tip before we take off from this video. Make sure your brake lights are not on. If you have it too close to the braking system on the inside, it'll keep your brake lights on all the time. And you wanna make sure that it's not that way. And if you have somebody that can help you, you can press the manual brake button on the Patriot brake system and make sure that your brake lights line up out here. We'll go through this one by one just so we make sure we're clear on it. The blue cable, this runs your trailer lights, so if you press the brake in here, it'll work the brake lights on your Jeep. There's a whole towing system that goes into this, it comes with a wiring harness and all that. We'll put the link in the description below for the Jeep JLs. There is one specific for just about every vehicle that's flat towable. That's your blue cable. The red cable is your emergency breakaway pull system, so when you pull that out, it will break your Jeep and depress the brakes on the Patriot brake system. The black cables are your safety cables, and this is in case something was to malfunction with the towing setup, the cables would pull on the front of your vehicle. And then obviously you have your tow bar right down the middle. That's your basic setup for flat towing pretty much any vehicle. Now, we're gonna flat tow it back to Jackson. Okay guys, so we made it to our destination and now we're just gonna kinda do things in reverse. The very first thing I like to do is I like to uh, hit the brake, brake free buttons. So that will loosen that up and then I'll go inside and I'll put it in drive and then I'll allow me to bring it forward. So you'll put your seat back. Like that. Remove your brake pedal. Like that. Unplug it from the cigarette lighter. And then we store this in one of our compartments in our motorhome. Now, you'll do just like you did the first time. You'll start it. Put the transmission in neutral. Slide the transfer case up into two wheel high. Now, when you put it in drive, you should be able to move it. Went into park just fine. It's back in gear, everything's normal. Now, when you break those free, you can put it in drive, pull forward just a little bit. Just like that. Put your locks back in it so you don't lose them. And what you never wanna do before you put it in park and you put the transfer case back in two wheel high, you never want to unhook this because your Jeep could roll off. So you always want to do the transmission part first. And now, I always just unhook everything from the Jeep side and usually leave it hooked up to the Jeep unless I'm going to be driving the motorhome without the Jeep. Like that. That's it. We hope you enjoyed our video. We hope it becomes helpful for you. Please hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more informational videos. Also, you can follow along with all of our traveling. Stay away from Interstate 40. And uh, Million Dollar Highway. Stay away from that.